This is going to be a design walkthrough of the Carter stair after our structural coordination. So we're kind of finalizing all the all the sizes of our posts and stringers and everything, and uh, finalizing our uh, column locations and footing locations. And so this is what the final design is going to be looking like after we've made those adjustments now. So we have uh, basically three posts, one at the corner here, two on the back side here, and then um, a foundation here that's going to carry the bottom of this. We <clears throat> went to uh, the 4x4 posts stopping on the underside of the stringers and um, kind of side beams supporting those landings, and then transitioning to the 2x2 posts um, up above, which I really like the look of that. So that was a structural suggestion just to carry carry that um, those loads independently. And so what we end up getting is um, this double post at the corner where we have the cable railing system coming along. And we've got a double post and it continues along. This top um, guardrail um, is going to be a one by three. That's a little bit wider, so just a little bit more comfortable to lean on if you're standing here and looking out. And we're going to transi transition to a one by two um, handrail that goes down. And that's the size we need uh, for grip for code. So that one by two goes all the way down. And then at this inside corner, we have kind of a, a neat transition for that handrail. So it's going to turn and come down and, and keep going. So it just gets a, a nice transition there. And then at this landing, we've got the double post on the back and the handrail continues down to the bottom and stops right there at our five foot setback. So that's what our final design is looking like after um, coordinating all the all the structural sizes. So that's all going to work for us. Keeping that existing handrail up here. Um, I'll mention too during construction I think the, the width of this is going to need to be adjusted and this portion of exi existing handrail is probably going to need to be reworked to make it work with this opening size. And so they probably need, you know, we'll need to make it so there's a post here, a post here, and an infill. So they'll have to um, kind of remanufacture that existing railing to make it that size. Um, they can do that, I think, in the field or take it out and take it to the shop. So work that well we will work that through with the with the contractor so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what this is going to look like when it's all built All right, thanks.